The telecoms company BT is sizing up the mobile phone operator O2 with a view to a possible takeover of its British business. If they go for it, they'll be buying back a company they sold more than a decade ago. Well, our business editor, Joel Hills, is here. So what's going on, Joel? Well, in a sense, Julie, what's interesting here isn't who's buying it, who's selling. Because let's look at it. Two, not one, but two, actually, of our biggest British mobile phone operators are up for grabs here. Uh, B BT is making it clear it's not having to do much of the chasing either. Telefonica is keen to offload O2 and its 23 million British customers. Uh, meanwhile, we've got Orange and Deutsche Telekom keen to offer BT the chance to buy EE and its 26 million customers. It's possible neither deal will come off, but if either does, as you can see there, it will leave BT with a big chunk of the mobile phone market. Why is this happening? It's down to bundling. BT believes that what we as consumers really want is to buy our television, mobile phones, fixed line phones and internet service from a single company for a single price. Now in Spain and Germany this has really taken off. BT is reckoning it will here too. What's happening here though is market upheaval and in all the chaos BT's got pretty deep pockets, EE and O2 haven't and they've decided on balance to get out and sell up. And if a deal does go ahead what does it mean for prices crucially? Well bundling can leave for some services being given away. Buy, sign up with us and get your mobile phone for free. You get the picture. But that's how it works in theory. In practice, we'll see how it spins. What is worth noting, though, Julie, is what's happened to mobile phone calls. The cost of calling has fallen in real terms during the last decade, in part because of competition, but also thanks to the odd kick from the regulator. OK, Joel, thank you very much.